What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video is going to be about the Tijuana abortion scam in Zona Norte, which is the legal red light district of Tijuana, Mexico. Now this abortion scam is one of the biggest scams in Tijuana, guys. It's personally happened to me. It happened to one of my subscribers last week. And what better day to talk about this than the day that Roe versus Wade was overturned. Now, if you're a female and you're needing an abortion and you can't get it in the United States, this is just a good piece of information. You couldn't keep your legs closed, sweetheart, but you can go down to Tijuana, Mexico, and you can have an abortion there and get it all taken care of. All right, guys, let's fast forward to the scam while you're here. And I'm in a hurry today, guys. I'm sweating like a Tijuana whore in church, but I got to go to work and I don't have time to edit this video. It's going to be a one take Drake. Okay, so let's roll. Here's the deal, guys. This is what these girls will do. You'll go down to the red light district. You'll go down to the HK club or the Chicago club or the Adelita bar. You'll start talking to these girls. You'll get them on Facebook and more times than not, especially if you're young and vulnerable, she'll say, you know, I really like you. I'd like to spend more time with you outside of the bar. I don't see you as a customer. And you're all pumped up. You're excited. She's hot. You take her out. She's going to let you raw dog it, okay? That is a violation of the rules, guys. Always use protection, number one. Number two, always flush it when you get done, okay? Don't just throw it away. You never know what these girls might do, all right? So wrap it up and flush it. Anyways, you didn't do that. You went out. You raw dogged it. She's going to call you back. She's going to call you back about a month later and she's going to say, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I got to have an abortion. If I can't get an abortion, I'm going to go to the U.S. consulate. I'm going to file the paperwork with San Diego Child Support. Guys, no one wants a kid with a Tijuana hooker, okay? No one. So she's going to scare you into thinking she's pregnant. It's all bullshit, guys. She's not pregnant. She's going to come up with the sonogram images. She's going to show them to you. She's going to say she needs an abortion. Man, your heart's going to sink. You're going to be afraid. She's going to show up with a pregnancy test. It's got the two lines on it. The pictures. She's going to say, we got to act fast. What are we going to do? By the way, I need $800, $1,000. So you're going to send the money, right, for the abortion. Of course you are. Because let's be real. Getting out for $1,000 abortion is a lot cheaper than dealing with one of these whores for 18 years. Okay. So you're going to send the $1,000 for the abortion but it's not just going to be for the abortion. There's also going to be a follow-up appointment that's going to cost three or 400 bucks. Also, she's going to say that it messed her up and she can't work. So she needs two or three weeks worth of income while she recovers. Then she's going to say that after all this took place, she was on the rag for a week and she doesn't have any money to eat. She needs groceries. She needs food. So this whole I'm pregnant bullshit lie that she told you is going to turn into eight hundred to a thousand dollars for an abortion, three or four hundred dollars for a follow up, three or four hundred dollars in lost income. Guys, this is going to be a twenty five hundred dollar to three thousand dollar scam, like that. Snap of your fingers, guys. If you hadn't done it already, smash that like and subscribe button. My name is Luke. I'm the king of Tijuana, Mexico. This is Tijuana Talk. We talk about the bars, the beaches, the girls, the red light districts. The legal Zona Norte prostitution zone of Tijuana. Anything we talk about, guys, it's on and cracking. Smash that like and subscribe button. I would love to go live tonight, but I can't do it, guys. I got to go drill. Got to go make some money. You know, I'm kicking ass in oil and gas. I got to hit it hard for two weeks so I can go down to Mexico and Colombia and do what I do. Till next time, guys, appreciate you guys subscribing, and we'll see you down the road.